Hello folks and welcome back to Knowing My Sand. I'm feeling a bit better today so let's go and see what we've been up to. So since last time we've seen, money's gone up quite a bit but also gone down. First of all we spent 33 grand on the Amazon fertilizer spreader. This is going to be our dedicated fertilizer spreader and our brittle one that we had is going to be our lime spreader so go to the shop we're gonna sell some stuff this John Deere Ch Turin this has been a very helpful tool but I'm gonna upgrade this to a bigger John Deere with a front loader and I'm gonna sell this mulcher just because with our cultivator mulcher that does what it needs to do so we're spending the money services and also let's go and sell these anything in the used market today nope not really fair enough but what we're looking at is I think it's under large tractors ooh I was gonna go with that one but ooh make over the cloth instead 289 for 388 you know what I'm gonna go with these go wheel weights beacons Nah, I won't change anything like that. Actually, probably in hindsight, we could, probably shouldn't have sold the... <laughs> yeah, sold the front loader for this, but... Well, so... Let's go buy that back. Go with a nice class. There we go. So that leaves us with 615 grand. And I think the waiting that is still here somewhere. Yeah, wait's there and Oop. line up. I was supposed to work with this, we met. Wait a minute. I thought that should work with that, right? Yeah, the quickie one, so... Go to tools, front loaders... Ah, it's this one! Fair enough! Probably why, so well, now we're at 606 grand, so that's better now. It works it's a lot wider. Let's get that lined up properly. So, yeah, all this money has been coming in that is from the Ten off furniture and all that good stuff. We get about nine grand per hour, I think. So if we fast forward till eleven a.m., six oh six, six oh six point seven. So yeah, just over nine grand. So, but what I've gone and done is I've set our sawmill to produce the planks. 
and because of that production we got them out with the carpentry we're going to get rid of that that is quite OP for us so but we're still going to keep it for now we're not going to get rid of it hell no I'm just going to put you there and now we've got a nice big powerful class I've just got to change the colour on this, so... There we go, that's a lot better. A nice new addition to the floor farm. Florm farm. But as usual, it is August, so that means it's time to cut our grass and going to make some silage, so... Let's get back, back to the farm, put this in storage, and then we'll go and have a little look, shall we? There we go, that is the lime spreader in storage. And let's go and move this over. Ah oh man, we've got even... That's the thing, this is so OP, we've got, we're getting tons and tons of pellets. So... Let's see, we've got... 18,000 years of plank theft. And what's that's done? We're just going to sell this, and the wood chips that came from the storage we had, because we did have some wood chips that I completely forgot, so... Man, look at that, 81 pounds of pellets. And, we, yeah, we've moved some clothes over, so we got 3 pounds of those, 16 pounds of maple syrup. So yeah, got quite a bit of stuff. So yeah, I've got the case over there ready with the forest wagon. And this is going to be our load of silage. So this will be used as potential TMR for the cows. But maybe we got like, something like 400,000 litres of TMR we've been making just on site. Just transferring stuff over and every so often off camera I'll move it to storage but it is looking very good. Oh yeah that tree there is a real pain in the bum. There we go. Sort of cutting you. There we go, worker's gonna be on to that. Uh, we'll grab the case. Actually, let's use our brand new class for this. But yeah, sort of today as uh, of recording this, or on Wednesday. Soon to hear about news with American Falls. My opinion on that is. Uh, it's sad, at the end of the day it's sad, it's annoying, a bit peed off and that. Because America Falls was a very well anticipated map. Looked so good, looked at some world reviews on it. Map tours and that. I even watched some Let's Plays on that people were starting to do it on, it looks really good. Okay, yeah, maybe some little issues with it to start with, but you get that with almost any map you get. It was a map. We'll have some form of updates in it. But yeah, just the ungratefulness and toxicity of a very minute omit. Oh, it's a minute number of people in the farms and community, but it's enough to well Nancy Boy to make the decision after speaking to his family to have a break. I wish him all the best and well hopefully he returns, but I'm going to take that stand to him. 
regardless I wish him all the best and yeah it's just this is a trend that has been slowly creeping up over over the years now it's all this bit of FS19 now with just people being best way to describe it is over entitled over entitled very picky all I want this, I want that in my maps and that. Fair enough. Mappers and modders and that. They'll take some feedback, they'll listen to the community and try to implement some stuff, but besides from that, they do this in their own time. They don't get paid for it or anything like that, so Yeah, there's been mods, there's been maps I don't like. Well, I should know. No. Won't use words I don't like. You say I don't personally enjoy. It's not to me. It doesn't appeal to me. It's not my cup of tea, if that makes sense. But, regardless, I still appreciate good map being made. Good mods and that. Even if it's not for me. But, yeah, it's just. If people start bashing and that, then. No wonder I'm. You'll see modders and that either go privately, not do mods from mod hub and that. Just because of the feedback and that, people just being picky and that. And typical response that would be for me is if you complain about something, do it yourself then. Either make a map yourself, or if you're on PC and got joint editor, like I've seen people with court farms in a good way. After slightly tweaking it to make it more suitable for them. Still good map, Port Farms, looking forward to it on console. When it comes out eventually. But yeah. Uh, I think I'm lost for words is that it's just. It angri angers me, it pisses me off. People taking the absolute piss with it. Might be keeping the language nicely there, it's just. I don't see the point, people just bitching and moaning, but, oh, well, that's just me, that is. That's just me, that's, that's the kind of person I am, I'm up front, I'm blunt with things. Don't like it, there's the story, that's my attitude with things, it's like, just, yeah, ungratefulness with people, but, regardless, Randy Pants moment's over, so, Let's go and finish this. This is going to be a very quick work and shouldn't take too long. And then we'll have a look of where we go from here.
And there we go, that is all of the grass cut, and that is what? 250,000 liters got? 256, come on. Yep, that is 256,000 liters of silage. While grass has going to be converted into said silage. But yeah, this class, very useful, very helpful. And it just does it. Does it with no issues whatsoever. And I was looking at cedars and that, try to get a one in so we can patch up that grass, but there's nothing there, so. Well, always, yeah, we had cheap ones initially, but I've unselected those, so. I think we're gonna have to. Because on that little patch of grass to grow, so we'll get that patch covered up, so. We'll pretty grab you. The thing grass is already selected. And this will just take a minute, and then. We'll get the fertilizer out, get that spraying, quick roll this bit of grass in as well. If you miss bits of grass, or what? Oh, you know what? Let's just do redo this whole section here. Might as well. It's just yeah, it's clipping on the tree line. So let's turn this baby around. Alright, so I should go over the grass I've like already got, so that's good. And next, just grab the roller. Oops. And there's the roller. And yeah, it turns out what else to do. Really, really not much else to do in August, so. I'm thinking we just skip September and start planting the wheat in. There we go, that's that done. Just get over there. And yeah, I think we'll just go with sort of skipping time a bit. Well, actually, you no, know, we need to fertilize the grass fields first of all, so let's go and grab that. Where did I leave that to? If I had to guess, over here by the silo. Oh, was that cake and oil thing that was? Oh, John Deere's already attached to it, that's good. Well, yeah, 10,000 liters, and this does a 42 meter working whip, so. This ain't gonna take too long to do. But, yeah, so. With that production, I think we still get some more money out of it until the planks run out. And once that's done, we'll sell that and get the base scheme one in, or the platinum DLC one in. We're just gonna crack on with that. 
and let's go and grab the front loader. That's over here. Got some clothes. Sort of skipping time a bit. But yeah, like nine grand we're getting. Just over nine grand, give or take. And that's got 57,000 euros of timber in left. And that's got 40,000 years of plank, so actually, what is the. How much plank does it consume? So, 12,000 cycles a month. So, that's going to consume the rest of that by the end of the day. So, yep, yeah, sort of downgrading this. What about the wood chips, though? 48,000 litres, of course, still getting some wood chips from this, so. Yeah, perhaps this time in September it'll be done. Sort of move some of these over in storage. And yeah, if the other carpentry business can't keep up, then. You know what, that's fine. Because we could always just get a second one in if we did want one, but honestly, I doubt we would want one, so. But yeah, we'll get this quick finish off, and then I'll see you folks in September. September and boy look at these trees are starting to grow at that so looking forward to those should be and the cotton should be ready next month oh yes so that's gonna be a giant packed episode but for now we need to focus on the barley so everything's been transferred over haven't told the production yet we may do it in the next episode too I may just let it linger for now, but I'm not too worried about that, so we're going to do barley in this field. And I think the best thing to do is a headland, as I usually try to do. But yeah, oh boy. Looking forward to doing the cotton and that, and I did notice in the used market we got an offer on a sugar harvester half price so that is the panther tool so that's the one there yeah not too bad and 
that comes with a 2.7 meter header. Ideally, I would love to go on with either the Tiger 6S or the Grimmy Rexor, but depends on how much money you bought left in that, we may look at that, but. Make sure it's barley. Yeah, it's barley, so let's get seed in. And obviously, with the news with American Falls, that does mean I have to look at another map, and there are some maps I may consider off doing as a through Let's Play series alongside this and Court Farms. And I'll speak in either Tom Pemberton's map or By Spring. By Spring's just been released, and Tom Pemberton's farm that's got a nice big update coming, hopefully today as we're recording this, so I may have a look at that over the next day or two. Really depends on how my throat is. Still a bit sore, enough to get recording done, so. Once Tom Pemberton's is updated, I may download that and buy Spring and just have a look at what they offer in that. But yeah, it's a lot too short. Even like the, how we're going to go about the, the Over series, so. Court Farms have got an idea of how we're going to go about with that. And I want to do something that different that with the other Let's Play, so got some ideas, but if got any ideas, feel free to leave a comment down below. But regardless, we're going to get this done. And then this is where we'll leave it today. We'll say in September to get the rolling done, I think, and then we'll proceed into October next episode and start doing the harvest.
and there we go, that is the season done, fertilizer done, and just finish off the rolled in. Oof. Bit squishy there. So yeah, that is the barley in. And that is going to be ready to harvest in June of next year, so that gives us time to potentially do a flip on this, do a cheeky silage or a hay field. But we're not we'll do that or we'll just expand this field or what. I'm not too sure yet, but regardless, this is looking out well and I do love this roller. It's not the biggest one. But it does that 15 miles an hour, so could get the bigger one. But yeah, I'm loving this. So next episode we will I think we'll start doing the sugar beets first or cotton. I'm not too sure, but we'll definitely split those into two episodes maybe. Depends on how much we can get done in all that, so and why not we'll go with that used uh sugar beet harvester. I'm not too sure yet, but unless we do ooh, to be a bit cheeky and send some planks over. Get a bit of extra cash in. Who knows, but anyways, that's where we're going to leave it today. So, next time, it's going to be a very busy harvest is underway for our two big fields over there. And so, that's going to take a lot of work to do. Regardless, hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, smash that button, feel free to comment down below. If you want to share so please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, then please consider. But for you to do, hope you're nice day. But for now, this is me, Farmer Evil Extreme, and I'll see you all very soon.